Hi, welcome to Hadoop tutorial. In this video, I'll be talking about different kinds of table in the Hive. Hive is specially a Hadoop ecosystem part, uh, which are mainly working on the structured data. And we have a different kinds of table available inside the Hadoop ecosystem as a part of Hive. So there are two kinds of table in the hive the first one is a managed table which is also called it as external table and second is a external table when we are creating any table by default it will create the managed table only which is having the default directory as a warehouse where the actual data will be stored and in terms of external table we can create our table which will be pointing to the data on the HTTPS level. So let us see in a practical way so that you can understand uh, better. This is the syntax for the manage table, create table table name and here we need to mention the column name along with their data types, comment which is optional if you just want to ignore you can ignore it, row format delimited, fields terminated by lines terminated by as stored as a text file so once we create the table we need to load some data inside this table if you check the table data you will find so this is our data i'm just opening this file and this is the data that we are going to load inside the table when we observe this data you will find this data is getting separated by comma and after the new line a second row will be starting okay so because of that only we are mentioning fields terminated by comma and lines terminated by slash n so let me copy this before that we will just create our new database okay and we will also create the new table so let me do that this is the high session which is already connected I am checking how many databases are there okay so we have uh, plenty of databases we will create new database create database database name table underscore type and we are going to create before that we need to use it so that it will be created under that only okay so create database database name and we have used this database to create our tables now let us create create table table name before that we need to mention the database name dot table name as it's a internal table so entr internal underscore table okay and these are the data types make please make sure this data column column de, column should be matching to the data only when we check here you can see the first one is employee id second is name and third one is their business okay so employee id name and this is the designation okay so let me copy this and paste it over here this is going to create a uh, internal table now if you just want to check what is the structure we can use the command describe formatted and the table name we have got the structure for this particular table here you can see what are all the columns which are available to this table what is the database name what is the distribution uh, and owner uh, who has access it and this is the location for the files and here this is most important part that we need to take care this is a managed table so by default when we are not mentioning as a external keyword it will create a managed table the basic difference between the managed table and the external table is when 
we want to delete some data or uh, when we want to delete a table <coughs> it will also delete the data that is happening in the internal table but in terms of external table that is not happening when you are deleting the table the data will be there itself that is the thing with the external table so if many people are using the same data maybe pig and hive both are using the same data better to go with the external table but when we are in situation where the table and the data should be also deleted we can go with the manageable table <coughs> now if i just try to select the data you will not find any kind of the data over here because we have not loaded any kind of the data so first of all we need to load some data load data local in path from where our data is available to this file so we will just take the path data.txt so all the data which are available on local file system in this particular file it will go to this table into table and the table name now let's fire, try to fire the same query and here we got the output so this is all happening in the internal table and this is the way to create an internal table now let's talk about external table so in external table this is the syntax create external is a keyword that we need to specify if you are not specifying it will create the manageable table create external table name okay and this is the column that we need to specify so we will mention the same column as we are going to use the same data and the most important part is location if the data is already available in the hdfs on the top of the data we can create our table so this is the this is hdfs location okay so let me check whether we have any uh, data available in, inside this hadoop <coughs> fs hyphen cat hadoop fs hyphen ls and the location is slash test So here you can see there is one file available with the name data.txt. This is the same file which I have copied it from the local file system to the Hadoop file system. Okay. Now if I just want to cross check what is the data available, I can do like this. okay so we got the data over here on the top of this data we are going to create our external table so we need to provide this location only slash test this is a parent directory that we need to provide okay and if you are adding new file that will be uh, the, uh, that will be also the part of this table only so this is the location we will just change the external table name <coughs> and we are going to use the same uh, same database dot ex external underscore table and the data type will be the same because we are going to use the same data data type and the column name i am just taking it row format delimited fields terminated by comma and location is test don't mention a slash user warehouse location over here that is going to give you exception better to give another location 
and let us try to connect create external table okay so external table has been created and let's try to fire the query here we got the records inside the external table if you observe one thing that we have not loaded any kind of the data in external table we have directly mentioned the location so if you are adding new file to this slash test that will be the part of this table only and this is a feature of external table now let's talk about the difference between internal table and external table we will find the difference in internal and external table based on the delete operation only when we are when we are in a situation where we want to delete the data as well as structure of the table then internal table is the best option because in internal table both data and the structure will get deleted but in terms of external table only the table structure will be deleted the data will be there on the HTTPS only let us see in a practical way so first of all I will just show you uh, where the data is all exact, exactly available by default the data will be stored in the warehouse directory for the internal table so user how warehouse then we need to go with the database name and let us see let me just refresh it So user high warehouse and our database name is table underscore type it should be there okay so this is table underscore type inside the table underscore type you will find internal underscore table and here you get your actual data so this is the data which are available inside the internal underscore table now let's drop it by using the command drop table table name we have dropped the table so let's try to select now select star form here we got the message saying the table not found so the structure of the table is deleted let us see if that deleted from the HTTPS location also now I'm just refreshing the browser here we got the error because it has deleted the data from the HTTPS location also so in terms of internal table what is happening both structure table structure as well as the data will get deleted but what is happening in external table let's try to drop external table drop table table name table name is external for external it is like this so before that let me show you that we have our data available in slash test I'm going to the file browser and let us go to the slash test here we have one file with the name data.txt and I'm just opening it and let us drop now we have drop the table let's try to do select query now we got the message that table does not found but but now it's a time to check whether the data has been deleted from the HDB also let's see test and then data.txt here you can see the data is still available on the HDB level so this is the main difference between internal table and the external table I hope you enjoy this video please do like subscribe and thank you for watching this video bye bye